Let's talk about you for a minute. When you're faced with a risky decision, how do you decide what to do? Nothing is certain, so often we weigh the potential payoff versus the potential downside. We ask, is it worth the risk? And that generally works well. But what if you know that the potential risk is big, only you're unsure whether it's going to happen or not? Take human-caused climate change, for example. The skeptics say it isn't proven, so we shouldn't risk potential economic harm by taking action. But the activists say if we don't do something about it quick, we risk global catastrophe. How do you weigh the two claims of potential harm when we don't know either for certain? That's where the precautionary principle can help. It takes seriously that nothing is worth risking everything for. If losing means catastrophe, it just isn't worth the risk, whatever the odds. Imagine you stand to win millions, and all you have to do is take a shot at Russian roulette. Five out of six times, you're safe. But here's the hitch. It doesn't really matter how good your odds at winning are when the cost of losing is catastrophic. So would that mean the precautionary principle dictates no more driving? Or using electricity, as we would need to take any action necessary to prevent a possible climate catastrophe caused by the burning of oil and coal? In fact, wouldn't that reasoning argue for taking action against any potential threat? No matter how costly the action or how ridiculous the threat, like giant mutant space hamsters, because it's better to go broke building a fleet of orbiting rodent traps than to even risk the possibility of becoming hamster chow, right? So the precautionary principle seems useless. Actually, no, because the principle only applies when there is plausible danger. And while there may be disagreement on the likelihood of catastrophic climate change, at this point it is undeniably plausible as evidenced by the official statements to that effect from every major scientific institution on the planet. So at that point, the burden of proof shifts. Rather than the activists needing to prove that climate change is real and dangerous, the sceptics are obliged to prove that it's not. In the meantime, it's only prudent to take bold action to reduce emissions in order to avoid potential catastrophe. If you disagree with this reasoning, please give your arguments in the comments, because together we reach a better understanding. But if you agree, forward this video. Do everything you can to inject this reasoning into the public consciousness. Because catastrophe just isn't worth the risk.